Hey everybody, Rick Dean, I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing on the opening day of Breeders' Cup weekend, Friday, November the 4th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast major track report. Opening day at Aqueduct, let's go to their featured race for 2.44 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Turn Back the Alarm Handicap, 9 furlong route test on the Dirt Grade 3. Phillies and Mares, 3 years old and up, race for $100,000. Tenders number one, Tiz Miss Sue, number three, Arena Elvira, number five, a checkpoint, and number two, Bankers Buy. Well, folks, a little thoroughbred racing trivia to accompany your handicapping efforts today. 99% of the folks that I've spoken to about the name of the stakes race think that because we'll be indeed turning back the alarm on Saturday, ending daylight savings time until next spring, not true. Turn back the alarm handicap is named for a filly who won two jewels of the New York's Triple Tierra for three year old fillies in 1992. That was the Mother Goose and the coaching club American Oaks. She came back from an injury the following year to win three grade one stake races the Shoe V, the Hempstead, and the Go for Wand. Here in the 16th running of this now graded stakes event, number one, Tismis. Sue, the overall speed leader, racing at nine furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight, including a power run win in her fourth race back. Jockey uh, Rosie Napovic is back today for her second ride gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number three, Arena Elvira, the pace profile leader, has hit the board in five straight, winning three times in its recent streak of racing consistency. Race 4 summary, number 1, Tis Miss Sue, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 3, Arena Elvira, number 5, Checkpoint, and number 2, Bankers Buy, 1352 in the 4th of Aqueduct, the $100,000 Grade 3, Turn Back, the Alarm Handicap. Let's go to Churchill Downs, Breeders' Cup Weekend, Race 5, 4.10 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Sprint Stakes, 6 furlong sprint on dirt, 2-year-olds, Race 4, $500,000. Contenders number 6, Secret Stir Circle, number 8, Jake Moe, number 9, Vexor, and number 4, Trinneberg. Number six, Secret Circle, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in his field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. He's won both of his two career starts to date in power run fashion. Jockey Rafael Bejarano and trainer Bob Baffert send him postward this afternoon. They fit the board with an impressive 70% of more than 100 entries saddled as a team to date. Number 8, Jake Moe, a 20 to 1 bomb, has hit the board in each of his four career starts to date, including back to back power run wins in his second and third races back. Race 5 summary, number 6, Secret Circle, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 8, Jake Moe, number 9, Vexor, and number 4, Trinidberg, 6 8. 9-4 in the 5th from Churchill Downs, the $500,000 Breeders' Cup Juvenile Sprint Stakes. Bonus long shots on Breeders' Cup Weekend Opening Day Friday. Parks Racing, Philadelphia Park, Ben Salem, PA Race 6, number 2, Miss Dartmouth, 8-1 to one in the morning line, takes a slight class drop. Is the speed leader in this field, racing at or about six and a half furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last four, including a power run win in her third race back. Hawthorne Race Course near Chicago, race five, number one, Emma's Kiss, six to one in the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a slight glass drop, nice overall speed for this six and one half furlong sprint. So from both Aqueduct and Churchill Downs on Breeders' Cup opening day weekend, repeat them for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.